Welcome back. All right. So let's talk about this uh, Harry song. <sighs> Nightmare. Nightmare. Anybody following the Harry song story? Who's Harry song? Who's that guy? Who's Harry song? I know. Now they wonder who is Harry song. Let me show you who Harry song is. Harry song is a guy. I try not to drag him because I have empathy for my brothers right but the loudest of them are guys like this so we can't let the rhetoric just pass we have to talk about it this is Ari song right here this guy Harry song was married to a girl I think her name is Alexa for I don't know like one month or so they didn't last they started dragging each other on the internet what is Nigerian men's uh, biggest nightmare? Anybody want to go in the chat? Let me go in the chat. Let's come to the chat. What is Nigerian men's biggest nightmare? Anybody want to? At least what it looks like right now. Please. Good evening, Jarechi Dima. Welcome. What is Nigerian men's nightmare? Or maybe we can make it all inclusive. Black men's nightmare. No, Nigerian men. Nigerian and Jamaican men's nightmare. Biggest nightmare right now. What is it? Please, 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 come to the chat. Please, please, please. Come to the chat. Come and tell me. <laughs> please, please. Come and tell me. I need to draw that. Please, please, please. It needs to be a little bit longer. Please, please, please. Tell me. What is the Nigerian man's biggest nightmare at this point? It looks like the Nigerian men are traumatized with something in particular. Something in particular, particular. What is Nigerian man's nightmare right now? No, no. Anybody know? <laughs> Low button. Okay. Uh, D Love say DNA. Yeah. And I have to acknowledge it. Okay. So sorry. So sorry. Wahala wa. Wahala wahala. DNA. <laughs> Mara say chocolate fine girl. Oh well, this girl fine though. Let's not front to this girl fine die. <laughs> this girl is a very fine girl, honestly. Um but the guy said he <laughs> he actually said something about being with the fine girl, something like that. I'm gonna play some of his video in a second. But we're talking about Harry Song. Nigerian's nightmare, their wives leaving them, I think. That is a nightmare for men in general. Men, they never see it coming. They never see it coming. I never expected it. They never see it coming. We never, we never see it coming. Okay, and I can relate. We never see it coming. Ten years of paternity fraud. Yes. Okay, it's more like paternity fraud. The same thing. DNA paternity fraud. They are, they're obsessed with DNA because of the the fear of paternity for his beginning of wisdom is it the beginning of wisdom i mean they're just acting mad everywhere everything has to be about paternity fraud unless the person has not had a baby for you the only reason why israel is not talking about dna or paternity fraud yet is because he had he didn't have any baby with that girl all right if not that abki case children as that for son looks like his carbon copy like he spitted him out I bet he will be asking for paternity for look at you Ledoche's children. <laughs> His wife almost looked like him, right? The next best thing they go to the youth is like, ah, I'm gonna do DNA test too. Mm -hmm. DNA. The only Harry I know is Harry Styles and Harry Duke of Success. And this one you get to know. In fact, let me introduce him to you just in case you don't know. Who Harry Song. Harry Song is one of the best songwriters out there. I've loved Harry Songs. He's a 43 year old man. That doesn't even look like he's 50, by the way. But anyway, I'll just keep it moving. Harrison Tare Okiri, better known by his stage name, Harry Song, is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, instrumentalist who rose to fame after his tribute song to Nelson Mandela and won most downloaded color tune award at the Eddies 2013. Uh, I've known Harry Song since it's before reggae blues but i think his biggest song up to date is reggae blues right 
That song. Aha. So now Ari song is calling out his fine dark chocolate, brown chocolate, brown sugar, calling her a fraud. But that one is calling him out too. Yeah, paternity fraud. Mm-hmm. Maya said, but from the video, did the woman claim the baby was his? No sex in a year. I suspect he's manipulating the public. But she, uh, well, did she ever beg him to be in the relationship? I don't think so. I think she's the one that gave up, right? Who called? Who called of the? Who called of their situation in the first place? I wonder. Let me see if I can find that information. But anyway, she came out in the. I said she came out anyway. Yeah, I don't know. She came out in the last forty-eight to seventy-two hours to say this guy is bedwetting. I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, why now? Bedwetting as how? Bedwetting. If you're going to shame insults, do you have to go to bedwetting? Oh, girl. But now, so we see him. Um, anything is possible. But I think she's just trying to, to shame him. Alright? Just trying to shame him. That's all. But, um, let me see here. I'm just trying to get through the chat. She fine, well, well. In, if Nigeria could afford it, all babies should go through maternity and paternity tests. My opinion. I disagree with your opinion. No, who's going to pay for that? Alright? Lab tests cost money. Nigeria have not finished the how who's gonna pay for that? <laughs> There's a reason why developed world don't engage themselves too much in family matters. And if they if you engage them, you pay for it. <laughs> That's a reason now. Who's gonna pay for it? Yeah, yeah. So and also in addition to the reason why I also disagree with this, I don't think it solves for the actual problem. These issues we're talking about is these are relationship issues these are conflict conflict personal relationship handling matters we will find another way to fight basketballs if they sort that one out i don't think it solves the problems okay the other thing you can link it to is maybe poverty the reason why nigeria is on the number three or number two on the list of most paternity fraud failure or failed test is i could probably link that to to poverty right besides the moral responsibility of not lying to another person about paternity right but who's gonna pay for it who's gonna pay for it is the question i have if you can't answer that then the next thing is that do you think that really solves relationship problems because when you link all of this together it's just relationship problems okay the only extra to it is the poverty why would women do this you know yeah so but that's the thing about morals when it becomes a matter of survival all kind of craziness can go down that's not to justify it's just to tell you the reality of life people will cheat steal and lie when it becomes a matter of survival never mind how you see righteousness your righteousness end up straight in the potter potter yep yeah. So why is he mad? She be not him sing um, even your boo get a boo. <laughs> May God forgive you. Alright. Even your boo get a boo. Mm-hmm. I remember that now. Bed wetting because he's drunk all the time. Two jokers. Okay. You can bed wet if you get drunk all the time. He's been shaming her and as the open she is, she's multiplying it from it. You get it. Exactly. Oh, beauty. Mm -hmm you get it but let's play the first video i'm gonna play the first video this is him we just married seventh husband seventh husband a big sister husband and at the same guy when see they call me the time he said the mama said no to stay he gets the mama still gets uh, another boyfriend inside the town that's the kind of that the family where i married into she come out she say oh uh, she was uh, she was uh, pregnant the, I don't, I, I don't stop to sleep with her for for almost a year. He said he stopped sleeping with her almost a almost year. Almost a year, I don't stop to sleep with her. <laughs> she was pregnant for another man inside marriage. She was pregnant for another man inside marriage. <laughs> the only thing I just said was, these old settings, you no know, good. It's not going to work. You need to go back to your to your people. Mm. We, I, I, we need to sit down and 
now get to know you. I don't. Wait, wait. She got pregnant for somebody else. You want to get to know her? Wait, why? What do you mean? You're just after she get pregnant. Okay, she got. Pre somebody help me. Let's continue. Let's continue. Know you because now by uh, marry this girl. This girl is a good girl. You started playing loyal. You are loyal. You are humble. You are a Christian. Church need a good. She believe in another thing, different thing, different things that she that she believe in. With her mama, we just married seventh husband. So he's shaming the mama. Sounds like what Israel would do, <laughs> right? He's shaming the mother for having uh, the seventh husband. Did, she, did he say? The, all seven husbands fell out of the skies in the last two years. You didn't know that. Okay, let's keep going. But Ben, help me. I'm trying to support the brotherhood on this one. But I'm struggling. Struggling. Help me. Okay. Um, I, I left a comment here two days ago, apparently. I said, okay, I believe you. Cassie said, believe victims first. Where is the rest of the story, sir? Why were you starving of sex? Abina, she starve you of sex. We didn't get to that story yet. Okay. Somebody said, uh, gang, WhatsApp group with deal of here. Say, even your boo will get a boo. Your lyrics are against you. It, it will be your own Jesus Christ. Somebody said, nobody will believe because it's coming from a man. No, I believe, I believe what he's saying. I, uh, but just because I believe doesn't mean we don't need the rest of the story. So we can um, as, uh, make sure we protect him as a victim properly okay i believe him okay natasha lagos says i mean getting pregnant outside and bringing it home is diabolical but sir can you tell us or maybe sing to us why did you stop sleeping with your wife a year ago that's a valid question we're not shaming the victim it's a valid question it's a valid question okay uh, not to say I have a friend that did IVF using donor eggs. So if they have issues tomorrow with DNA, solve it. There you go. The shame out will come out and say, none of the babies are mine. It does not solve relationship issues. It does not. And the worst part about it is that people that are crying wolf about uh, uh, Marriott in their own personal situation, I said Marriott, DNA in in their own situation, okay. The worst part is they never admit that there's problems in the relationship. Okay, they never admit that there's problems in the relationship. And I get it if it's true because think about it. If it's truthfully a, a case of paternity fraud and you as a lady committed paternity fraud, I don't care if that's actually a reality. I don't care about what relationship issue we have. Why would you tell? That's such a grave lie to lie like making the man believe that that's heavy right so i have valid reasons to not admit ever that there's a problem in that relationship in the first place but the point i'm making is that dna test does not resolve relationship issues it just doesn't it only satisfies the social media <laughs> so they can finally have a uh, womigo and rest that's all it does okay Chidima says, so if it was an issue for him, why did he marry a girl whose mom was married multiple times? Don't they say that such uh, such things are indicators of bad behavior? They say that, right? If that was an issue, but maybe the girl was too fine. That girl is fine. Maybe that girl was too fine. So he overlooked a red flag. Is that a red flag? When your mother has married multiple wives or multiple even worse multiple wives <laughs> is that a red flag i'm asking for somebody anyway if you're sexless for a year what was this marriage you left her and she left you mm -hmm. three months is the rule after three months if you're punishing a person you take it three months that's it it's no longer valid okay all i care is as you are doing paternity tests, do a maternity test. Babies get swapped. Okay, so that solved the problem of stealing babies. That's about it. Yes. 
that, that I agree with you, but as you can see, all of these cases that we've been covering has not been a matter of baby swap issues. <laughs> it hasn't been. So we have to make sure we identify the right problem to create the right solution to the right problem. And that takes a minute. But this one is actually very simple. Baby swap issues, uh, I think definitely, uh, you know, there, there should be some kind of, uh, yeah, there should be some kind of, uh, I think that's a hyper situation, if you will. Uh, a tighter, you know what HIPAA is? What someone can spell out what HIPAA means? What's the acronym HIPPA? I, I forgot now, I don't cram that. But the healthcare protection privacy thinking, not a hey, that one, maybe some more regulation around healthcare in Nigeria, maybe that can help. But that's not what these issues are, that's not the problem. So he thought he was doing her by not sleeping with her, and pregnancy showed that's another angle. Now you know he's lying. Uncle Beno say MOP, you have to explain. DNA is not a solution. Or what does it mean? Yeah. Uh, ask, let me let me re-ask that question. To you, DNA is a solution to what? Because I think I've explained that again. Maybe we can drag that a little bit out. DNA is a solution to what? I agree it's a solution to baby swap, like Mario says. But what else is DNA a solution to? If you can help me with that. Layer by layer, small, small, eh? Help me. Maybe I can learn something new. He was body shaming this fine girl oh, saying that she was married out of pity. Wahala. No, multiple husband at 50 plus years old is not a red flag. Multiple starts from two. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. He's still talking. Is he still talking? Listen. Seventh husband. A big sister. Seventh husband. Okay. Seventh husband. We already talked about that. So let me go on. I think there might be some other videos here. Okay, there's not more of you, but there's some more comments here. Somebody said, I'm just coming from her page, and all I can say is, Ha, God, they create such a black beauty. Hmm. This, this guy saw a fine girl, but he never expected it. <laughs> fine girl or not. <laughs> oh, but he never showed oh, beauty. you. A gentleman, before you engage this situation, you better engage coaching. You need coaching. Okay, even if she has good character in the beginning, there's only one thing that's constant in life, and that's called change. And it's rough on you, especially when you don't expect it. Oh my God, you go call it. I never expected it. Ah! And the pain will be, will feel a lot more painful when she's a church girl. She was a virgin all along. <laughs> I'm telling you, especially she's a fine girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you. But anyway, who were you sleeping with in that one year? It was just being celibate in that one year. Leave that one alone. You still marry? Who forced you to? These are valid questions. All because the girl left you and moved on with her life after crying and begging for you to man up. Now you have to take care of your grandmother all alone. Because the nanny you married to take care of her is gone. Wait, was she taking care of grandmother? When they say what their wives go through in their own homes, they come online to will because they can't handle those responsibilities themselves. Well, how uh, maybe somebody's telling, maybe she's telling her own story too. She's going to tell us some story, by the way. All right. Even your boo will get a boo. Somebody say, I'm listening to this in lower case. What do you mean? What does that mean? Is that a slang? You saw all this and you still married her. Sometimes I wonder if when I did think. When you run out on the internet and you tell on yourself, people will ask you, this part where you are telling on yourself, tell us more about it. I don't want to say tell me more or tell me, tell me the rest of the story. People will ask you, this side where you don't tell, tell us more about this. And you're right, especially if you're a man. Welcome to the real world. Oberin is not your mate. Get it together. Oh, that does not mean Oberyn is walking around looking to hurt you. It just simply means you might be lame. Okay, maybe you're not lame. You're carrying lame ideologies around town. You're calling them truth. 
there are half lies that you've been told that you've told yourself why the fuck you lying why you always lying and you will have to unlearn those lies but they will haunt you oh my god they will haunt you for as long as you carry them they will haunt you the more you feel hurt the more the pressure is everything i do I, I will, I'm, able, so pressure to what? I'm telling you I promise you you need to learn yourself okay but there's more there's more it's going to tell us more let's listen to this video person way alex away way 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 from 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 bomadi where i carry see where well, hit the no like button please hit the like button never get a, 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 a international passport what he's saying is that this girl never had international passport i paid her bills i took her out of the potter potto where she was I took her abroad first. Does that not sound like the same thing, Uncle Beno? That sounds like the same thing now. I took her abroad first. I took her to never take her jackpa. Don't do it too, if you like yourself. Terrible advice. Okay, why? Because that advice does not cover you. It's like the advice. Of <laughs> it's the same advice as never marry. Um, sorry, don't be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a good girl be a bad girl it's the same advice essentially <laughs> right it does not cover you it only cover your the lie you're telling yourself in that moment why the fuck <laughs> sorry sorry i meant to play this for uh two years february it doesn't cover you it doesn't cover you Wait, is he fine for face? <laughs> the way his, his mouth is yama yama when he started his story, Sha. You know, but I think he's a fine boy. I, I, I will say that. You know, he's a good looking guy, right? Mm -hmm. Especially he's a beard gang, right? Why not? Will be the papa. 24 years of love and harmony. No be more, more. Let's continue. I say, God, no be small messages. Nine and plants. This whole thing is a setup. Everything is a setup. Nah. They are out to get me. I am the victim. Setup. Believe the victims first. No, no, don't choose side right now. That's what Cassie said. It's not the time to choose side. Please, 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 please. Don't do that right now. Keep the same energy. Please, please. <laughs> Keep the same energy. Okay. He's a victim. They set him up. Let's continue. She was sending messages. She stole my number. My ex-wife. He stole my number from one of my friends. By my you're right he's a fine boy she stole his number from her phone from what did you say access from my friend's phone from a friend's phone begin to send me a message i want to be loyal to you i want to serve you i had i, I had to go back to find out find out so this fine girl toasted this fine man don't tell me nothing don't tell me nothing you know what I have to believe the victim first. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm going somewhere here. Okay. We like to tell ourselves some line of thoughts, right? Hey, let's let's keep let's do it. At the end, I will we'll finish it. Okay. It's a victim. He was set up by a fine girl, fine face, dark chocolate. Can't tell me nothing. This girl will capture anybody. Crap, trap anybody. I don't care how strong you think you're a man. Okay, this girl catch you for corner. It's a wrap. So please don't shame the victim here. Please. Let's continue. To, to, to bring out all those messages. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh, I had a girlfriend eh, that was that was with me. That that had that, that, that I've been with me for more than 10 years. Where I don't engage to marry. He had a whole girlfriend. And this man got seduced by chocolate something. This man got seduced. 
and somebody's inside of marriage and they're telling me that they don't need seduction and this kind of girl uh, you, are, you have a boyfriend okay it's gonna go it's gonna go they're out there they will seduce your boyfriend <laughs> he got he's a victim ha huh. Don't judge him. Don't judge him. Let's keep going. Don't worry. Maybe we'll judge him later, but for now, we don't judge her anyway. You know, he's just telling his story. He's speaking his what? He's speaking his truth. Let him speak his truth in peace. Let him speak his truth. Let the poor man breathe. Let the poor breathe. Let him breathe. Let him finish his story first. This one just come, begin to send me. I want to be loyal to you. My people were against my the person I wanted to marry because of tribe. I believe to my grandma. But come on, I love her. What can I do? Wait, the people was against the older. Here we go. So now, let me let me come away from the sarcasm for a second. When a man comes and say, My my mother didn't was the reason why I didn't marry a person, he just did not like you. Okay. Okay, he just did not like you. Now, if you want, you can interpret it as he's too weak to sell what he wants to his mother. I don't know how you want to say. But the, the bottom line is that he didn't like you enough. Okay, I don't say that. Some cultures are very strong like that. I did not disagree with that. You're missing the point. He did not. You're right. Oh, I, 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 I. I you're right he did not like you enough to break his culture is that better does that sound better okay all right let me know what else do you have let's go let's get with it let's continue harry song is still talking you know he was set up he's a victim let's keep going <laughs> now she fight for me now she support me Oh, this one, our tribe. Oh, Alex, now your tribe. You stay with Alex. I Alex married is her somebody name. I did not know. He married somebody he did not know. He's just about to teach you guys to avoid red flags. We have a book you can download for free, number one red flag at manofprestige.com. That's all he's trying to say. Avoid red flag. These are your influencers. They come from a very toxic place of pain. They've been a victim. They come and tell you, to avoid red flags and then go figure people tend to repeat the same issues the same problems i wonder why because all it should take is somebody else has gone through it they can just sit you avoid red flag avoid a dark chocolate face who is toasting you and then that's it you should be able to find a wife and then live happily ever after It's not working. Let's go on. I don't know the girl. I married the girl. He begin to send me message. Enter my family. Enter my grandma. Enter this. Enter everywhere. They form loyalty. This one. This one. I don't already marry him. I don't inside the marriage. Okay. I begin to see the. Oh, he don't marry him. He fell out of the sky to the marriage. He already did inside the marriage. <laughs> I told you he's a victim, right? Let's skip everything that happened between when he met this dark chocolate fine faced girl. To the, let's just skip everything in between. Okay, or let's keep listening with patience. Maybe you will tell us the rest of the story one day. Okay, but the idea here, at least since it's social media, is just pretend like nothing happened between when you met this fine face who seduced you and you are you found yourself inside of marriage with her. What happened to that ex girlfriend, by the way? What whatever happened to her? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I've never seen somebody that has that kind of beautiful face and has the darkest character ever. I'm shocked. How many of them are, are, has he met before? <laughs> he shocked you! The darkest character ever. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. No, you know me. I just like to watch the video with you guys. I prefer it that way. I never expected it. No, I didn't see that coming. I'm sorry. Let me come to the chat for a second. We'll go continue. We'll go continue a second. 
Oh, I didn't mean to be dramatic. This whole thing is dramatic. What do you mean? If he didn't sleep with her for one year, who was sleeping with? Who was he sleeping with? Ah, Oberon. Look at that question. Must he sleep with somebody? Eh? He can't just be celibate in that time. <laughs> they love to throw that in the girl's face. She gave you play, uncle. Ah, she gave him play. She got toasted. He's a fine boy. Please, can you send me that soundbite? I love it. The place I'll post it in the group for you. I'll post it in the group for you. Uh, but you wanted a servant, Agbalagbu, like you. What's Agbalagbu? What's that? Ah, Mario to understand Yoruba better than me. Is that Yoruba? Jesus, what is that? <laughs> D love, are you getting frustrated? Wait now. Wait, wait, wait. No, not yet. Mm. Yeah, right. He's like 20, 21 years older than him. He's 43. How, how old is this girl? Is she not like 35 or something? Hmm? Old enough to be her father. He was a predator who captured his prey. Are you trying to say she did not seduce him? Believe the victim first. Iwa <laughs> Agbalagbi. Okay, Agbalagbi. I can't stand your ground uh, after 10 years. Agbalagbi has an Agbalagba as an Agbaya. You can't stand this ground. No, his mother, his family made him do it. They wanted somebody of the same tribe now. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Mm. Jesus Christ. This girl. You see that fine face? If you if she display her true character, which I suffered for years, if she display her for you, you go. But I don't really dare the shame. Oh, it is shame. shame. Because it I was a shame. It was already. So she take advantage of me. She did take advantage of me. Take advantage. Oh, this one. Every time. You know how many times she don't. I will. I will break you down. I will go social media. I break you down. I know who knows say she did in contact with them. It was, she was and then, uh, Casey, him. You can. Oh wait, she was collaborating with Casey and them. His old label. These are all allegedly. It's just alleged by a victim. That's all. Imagine. She did, she did, Alex, they tell me, I will bring you down. 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 No, I believe that part. Okay. If you drag a woman, water, 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 at some point, you know how you chase. I'm not saying that's what he did. I don't know if that's what he did. But but potentially, if you chase a goat to a wall, what happens when, they, when you chase a goat to a wall and it doesn't have anywhere else to go anymore? Especially if the goat is an old oh, beauty. What happens? I'm asking. Tell me in the chat. Oh, Bernie, all the old in the chat, tell me right now. What happens if he chase a goat to a wall and he has nowhere else to go anymore? What would happen? Hypothetically. Okay? That's one possibility. The other possibility is that Alex is just an evil woman. We don't know, right? <laughs> and your Chitty ways is such a wonderful character. He didn't say he cheated though. We we'll wait, wait. We'll get to the girl first. Where the girl talk? We'll get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a Yoruba proverb or something, but I know that the goat will face you and fight you. Just what it is. That's just life, right? And if we're talking about this inside of a relationship, usually uh, it comes from a blind spot. And then you become ah, as fine as that girl is. Her, her, that dark skin. Her character is just as dark. Yeah. But again, that's just one side of the possibility. The other side of the possibility is that Alex is just a evil 22, 23-year-old woman who just came into your celebrity world and took over and just started threatening you for no reason. No apparent reason. Right? That's the other possibility. I'll tell you right now. Let me tell you up front. More likely than not, you thought you found a fajin from church. Very similar to Israel's story. Okay? A handbag. After all, she's with a celebrity. What else could she possibly need? Yeah, that goat will bounce back and face your nyash with the two horns. And you know, Nigerian goats don't have horns like that, they, but they will, you will see that they have horns that day. And what do you do? You turn around and say, Oh, beauty! 
they see Shege. So if that woman has shown him Shege since he discovered her power, I don't doubt that. <laughs> you collect now. In fact, she probably don't collect first. But he's not going to tell us the rest of the story. He's just going to tell us his favorite part of the story. Let's keep going. She will come to social media, play pity cards. Oh, this one, do this, do this, this. She abandoned, she carried, see the children where she did not want me to see. As at the time where she didn't want me to see that, she carried those same kids to Bumadi village, uncompleted building. I have, I have the evidences here. She went to her village, okay. Uncompleted building. She he has receipts. To go there with her mama, to her, her mama, where they with uh, her sixth husband. Now that can't wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Gentlemen, we're logical. If you say six before, say seven. Is it seven or six? Which one? Uh, you, have to, you have to be receipts. You have to be accurate. Is it six or seven husband? Okay. Or is it me that missed that? Is it six or seven? We need, we cannot have discrepancies like that. Okay. Remember, you're a victim already. Granted. But we need the actual number. Is this because this is a very important detailed information? How many husbands does your wife who don't show you shaggy? How many husbands does she have? Six or seven? Hit the like button right now. Thank you. Hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you. Hit the like button. Just in case you missed it so far, the point is that there's the rest of the story. Doesn't matter what side you come from. There's the rest of the story. When you don't collect Shege from inside of relationships, naturally, you will tell your side of the story, your own experience, okay? And your experience is valid, okay? It's valid. Okay, now, there's obviously more in case you still want the relationship. If you have children, you don't really have a choice. You still want the relationship, okay? It's like... What do we do with the fact that your experience is valid? Because the other person will have their own experience. And yes, when they start to narrate their experience, you will know without any shadow of a doubt that they are a liar. But that's not the end of it. You still need to come to some kind of common ground. Because why? Your life is entangled up together. Continue. Okay. And they advise her on how to destroy home, collect money from. If 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 she asks of anything, if I do hundred things for her, she, and, and I can't say okay, this ninety nine one, uh, please wait, hold on. That's the problem. She does not have patience. She's entitled, mm. proud, and wicked. Her mama will just marry seventh husband. Okay, seventh husband. Seventh husband, a big sister husband. Ah, it's confused. It's not sure. Even worse. Even worse, like my Ghanaian brothers will say. <laughs> and not the same guy. Where did they call me? They tell me say the mama said no to stay. He gets the mama. Stay. All right, we've heard that part. I have a comment. They say, wait, Israel. I think Israel commented. Israel say they won't understand at all. <laughs> Israel comment there said they won't under. If you don't know who Israel is, go on my YouTube channel and search Israel. We have a whole series on Israel at this point. Israel said they won't understand at all. Well, I left a comment. I said, wait, Israel is commenting. This is a bad look. But I think he's holding himself accountable. Let's wait for the rest of the story. So you chose your wife. So who chose? Uh, so they chose your wife for you. Continue. Anyway, let's keep going. Someone said, look at what is coming out from a grown man's now, shout out to this, my brother. I'm I'm so proud when I see a brother say that kind of stuff. I'm so proud. Because there are many of them out there. And we like to, a part of us on this social media I want to believe that it's just bad. No, they are, it's, maybe that's your circle. There are many men out there who are very, very intelligent at an emotional level. Okay? This guy is empty st upstairs. Just... I just confirmed completely now. That is also a man who said that. <laughs> okay, I love it. I'm loving it. Loving it. All right. I love it when women do that, but it, it might come off as women are just being victims. Okay. Someone said, man that talks too much, red flag. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Okay. Not absolutely, but a chance. That's something you should pay attention to. Okay. Some people are just talkers. Okay. All right. Let me help Israel like his comment too. She is your karma. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Bernie. Where were you expecting when you left a girl waiting for 10 years? This is your karma. And oh, because he said he left his girlfriend. You know, women know they hear that side now. You said you left a girlfriend for this fine face. Oh, beauty. Hey, they will forgive you for that one, though. About you don't tell on yourself. He told on himself. Someone said he sound foolish. Jesus. Are we taking him out of context? You should listen to the full interview before you conclude now, Abby. Don't you think? Let's be nice. Listen to the full thing before you conclude. Ari, I beg, leave pink lip balm. What's wrong with <laughs> What happened? What happened to the lip pink? Anyway, the girlfriend of 10 years in one corner laughing. Kama, kama, kama. So I said, kama is real. That's what happens when you talk too much. That's, but that part is true. You talk too much, you tell on yourself. Okay? Apparently, all narcissists have one similar trait and it's usually very easy to spot. Blame everyone else but themselves for the chaos in their lives. Imagine a man his age saying that a girl maneuvered her, her way into his life. Listen, that's most human beings, by the way. Most human beings would rather hold everything else accountable but self. No, not just women. Everybody, okay? It's just easier. Because you know, victimhood can be can feel can feel temporarily pleasant being a victim, okay? Or or the victim mindset, I should say. But some people are actually victims, so I don't want to be disrespectful to those that are actually victims. Uh the victim mindset can feel temporarily soothing. But last last you collect if, you, if that's how you move, victim mindset, yeah, you call it. Because that's, you can't operate in your power and victim mindset at the same time. It's just literally impossible. Okay? So I said, please share your pink lips balm plug. Then, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. That's all people are seeing in this situation. But pardon me. We're still talking about, uh, we're still talking about every song. That's Ari Song and his fine face, dark chocolate, according to him, allegedly dark character lady. That's them right there. Uh, majority of the talking points when it comes to relationship today are coming from viral stories. That's why I am co covering them. Don't tell me it's just celebrity coco. That's how you are creating your rhetorics, okay? A rhetoric. Stop the cap. Okay. The goat will bounce back and face. Mm, yeah, this on uh, the ones will come out from nowhere. Yeah, they will fight you. They will fight you. Many men carry Madonna war core complex. Jesus, what is that? Oh, you both Marriott on on their head. They run through their industry so they seek virgins from out of state to marry. Some people do that also. I, I absolutely agree with you. Some people also do that from the Japa. They go abroad, they are in abroad, so they think, oh, they now start to see that, ah, they maybe they run through or they can't get any. They say, let me just go to the village and find. And then when they collect from one girl in the village, they now come and say, ah, those girls are all Olochos. You remember APC Bishop, right? Uh -huh. They're all Olochos. The reality is that they were lame. They were either buying affection with money, fame, right, or with japa. Because when you are a man that actually, that you have sense, particularly emotional intelligence, uh, there's certain things that just won't, it just won't feel right. You might not even pinpoint it, but it just won't feel right. Regardless of where they are in the world, either they're westernized or they're from the village, doesn't matter. You will know, even if they're a virgin for real, for real, you will just know. Your spirit will pick it up and you won't be able to move forward. That's why. I know. Go back to yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Okay? If you look around you and you say they are all virgin olochos, that is really you. There's something about you. 
and i know because again the victimhood mindset is easier you get a little soothing feelings temporary feelings from it you will have a hard time facing yourself and telling yourself that truth i know we all we've all experienced that we've all been through that in one shape form or the other your own just happened to be specifically the obsession with vaginal lotions <laughs> is that a thing do they exist <laughs> anyway opening can leave your nyash to stay in an uncompleted building for peace yeah i guess if it comes down to survival then that's what it is I attempt to shame her mom from seven to six let thunder not fire that is that is lying mouth lip balm pink limp bar anyway they believe that state does not have men like them who run through through run, run them through there's run through every village you go through there's a run through in that village too so if you go to a village thinking you're escaping your reality it's like your shadow it follows you everywhere <laughs> every time you look around, there you are <laughs> i'm laughing because it's actually not funny and i want you to get you i want to get your attention it's not funny you would destroy your own life if you don't work on yourself dead ass okay Ah, she went down to the village. In an attempt to shame her, you can read in between the lines. That's it. That's where the truth lies, right? In between the lines. Leave my Ghanaian people alone. I got you, Chi. I got you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see. Let me see. I think there's more. <laughs> I think there's more. Uh, so the wife, of course, came out because <laughs> everybody, everybody have access to internet. You want to move mad, they will multiply the madness for you. If the wife has been working on herself and she knows that it's probably a terrible idea for her to respond in that manner, the content creators will multiply it for you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> at least content creators will multiply it for you, you know. But the wife had something to say. This is the wife. This is what he fell in love with. Can you blame him? You cannot blame this poor man. You can't. How are you going to shape your man to blame this poor man? Let be poor. Breathe. How are you going to do it? You are going to lose a bit too much love. Let the poor breathe. <laughs> Let him breathe, I beg. Look at this girl. That's a hell of a photo shoot. Anyway, the first thing she said is on and she posted this picture. She knew exactly what she said. She's seducing all of you too, by the way. <laughs> she said, unapologetically unbothered. <sighs> unapologetically unbothered and she continues she said i love my kids so much and i wouldn't want the issue i have with their father to cause a bridge in their relationship with him reasons why i said to myself that i just want to co-parent in peace despite the emotional and mental abuse this man put me through but i am addressing this issue because this issue is a crucial one Involving my mom, myself, my kids, Destiny, Etiko. Oh, she was named. That's an actress. Uh, that's an Hollywood actress. And most especially, infidelity accusations. All right. She's saying, nah, lies. She's saying lies, okay? Her mama will just marry seven husband. Ah, no, no, no. Wait, now. We don't hey, hear that one. I don't one. know you. I don't know you. Because I don't know you. He didn't get to know her. Newsflash, gentlemen, you will continue to know her for the rest of your life. You will never finish knowing her. If you don't have skills, you will end up in that quarter quarter where you belong. <laughs> you will. And you will come back and say she changed on me. Ha! Ah, welcome to the real world. The only thing that's constant in life is change. <laughs> that's precisely what everybody's husband and wife will do. 
They said, ah, may, may God not allow us to marry the wrong person. All of us marry the wrong person. Every single one of us will marry the wrong person. It's just that some are winners and the other ones are losers. It's not me calling names. It's just how life works. That's just how life works. That's just how life works. I hate to break it to you. I know somebody's going to tell you if you just wait around and you just pray for about 40 nights and 40 days. And if you just follow these rules, set certain amount of boundaries, about 21 boundaries you need to set. They will never change on you ever in life. <laughs> I'm tasking you. Keep it quiet up there. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Bye. See how easy that was? <laughs> Never expected it. Eh? I see you are saying there's no formula to marry the right person. That's way. Who do you think you are? Do you understand the level of arrogance in that sentence? Eh? marrying the right person why because you are because why because you are special you are better you are good you're righteous your righteousness is straight instantly in the no it will continue for a while you would think you got to figure out they might even wait yeah they wait about four years before you start to feel like a victim <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Wait. I can't just be a good girl and just get the right husband? No? It's not possible. Are you saying, Ola, that that's not possible? No, 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 no. That's not what I said. Don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. Because now you are trying to make me explain myself. You go explain, 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 explain. You can know every day. I'm tired already. <laughs> okay. I'm tired, okay. Change. Is the only constant in life. You can call it evolution. You can call it they don't just change, they evolve. Uh, their personality is the core. Uh, people, you can call it whatever you want. But here's the same thing that's true for all of us in life. The same thing that's true for all of us in life. The only thing that's constant in life is change. You never see anything yet. Everything I do, I will. Ah, my evil son. do what? You never see anything yet. <laughs> Harry Song. There you have it. Look at this fine girl. How can she possibly have dark character? Are you saying she doesn't have dark character? No, please. Listen, you're right. She does. Oh, okay. I, 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 I. I... You're right. Your story is valid. She does. Mm, speak your truth. Uh, Chilima says, if you marry the wrong person, but they become a right person for someone else tomorrow, does that say something about you or them? We don't know. There's 2,000 plus different variables. We don't know. What we know is that they're no longer your husband and you have the rest of your life to make the most out of it. You have the rest of your life ahead of you. It's beautiful. Now, the best gift is now. Right now, this present. Who cares if they were for you or that? It's in the past. We don't get obsessed over the past. Okay? And we try to avoid any kind of anxiety around the future. The best way to have a beautiful life from now into the future is to recognize the blessings in the now. Stay present. What resources are you, are you, are you, uh, are you accorded right now? First, this moment, you are alive. You are capable. 
of being healthy enough to ask this question. Stay focused. Who cares? What if it wasn't meant to be, it was supposed to meant to be? That will put us in shalaya mode, unnecessary shalaya mode. We don't, we don't need that. You don't need that. Explain, 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 explain. We can't know everything. You don't need that. Stay focused. That's what winners do. The only thing they extract from the past is lessons. Data. That's it. Insights. They don't sit down there and just beat themselves up. They're very winners are very quick to forgive themselves if there's a need for it at all. Ah, um, it wasn't. It was what it was. I'm glad. Eh, I had some resentment, but I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm focused. Very, very important. I'm glad you, you got that very quickly. So this young lady, I digress, she uh, she said a few things. <laughs> she said quite a lot there. Uh, but she was just defending herself, rightfully so. She should defend herself, especially if you have allegations. And there are enough lame people in the internet that will take a lot of those things that that guy said. They will take it and run with it as the truth. Right? They will take it and run with it as the truth. So we got to be careful with that. So now, she say more. You will think it's over. Mm -mm. You never see anything yet. <laughs> you never see anything yet. Alexa, Alexa Pierce, that's her name. She said, I never knew my mom married six husbands. Wow chronic narcissist my mom only remarried when she lost her husband as i speak she is happily married with her dowry paid in full okay i told you <laughs> before you know it if you engage you are now engaged in shall i <laughs> by the way here's my prediction harry song is not done yet that's my prediction once they do it once, they can do it again. They might not do it again, but they can. Okay. <sighs> Since when did it become a crime for a widow to remarry? And what does the word till death do us part mean? Pained soul. Why are you trying to project your insecurities on me? We all know your mom gave birth to six children for six different men. None of which she was married too and you a product of incest i'm reading that's all that's all i'm doing imagine having five siblings and you don't know who their fathers are why throw stones when you live in a glass house oh god now so we see our mom I told you. I told you they will drag you. They will drag you. Woto woto. You want to match energies with women on dragging? I don't know how you're gonna do it. You know, I don't know how you're gonna do it. Let's see. I think there's more. <laughs> there's more. Do you all know that Harry Song bed wet? Thanks for the information, I guess. Yes, celebrity with a piss for body. Oh, so sorry to break it to you all. I also get to deal with this daily while calling him my lord. You're calling a bed wetter, my lord. That's your fault too, Shad. FYI. But let me guess, he was a narcissist. He manipulated you into calling him a lord while he was bedwetting. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. You figure out eventually you decide to leave. Okay, I get it. Let's keep going. You said I convinced you to get married to me. Yeah, he said you toasted him. He's a fine boy now. What's wrong with that? A 20 years old girl convincing a full grown man to get married to her. You were that take it as credit now. <laughs> Please make me understand. Never knew I was married to a robot. You mean like a firewood? 
who wouldn't make decisions for himself? Same you who told me your ex-girlfriend used charms on you. I personally believe he said that. If he would say what he just said about his present ex, he would say that about his previous ex. It's a, that's a pattern. Human beings have patterns of behavior. They tend to repeat the same behaviors in a different form, but kind of like the same behavior in a different, it's like, it's a like different angle. You know how you see the same thing, but it's kind of like, you see, you're seeing me from here now. Is there when you see me like this? Eh? You get it? Listen. If you, if you don't get that after that, I don't know what to tell you. Now you know. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Right. I cannot believe that. She said, same you who told me your ex-girlfriend used charms on you and now your eyes are open since you met me. So it's now me that forced marriage on you. Really? I don't know if she's telling the truth. I just believe it. I don't know if she's telling the truth. I just believe it. That's all. So I said, wait, did you just say my mom? Okay, I already got that part. Let me see if there's more. Now, let's come to me, she says. Please, if you are the man or man that I had sexual relations with while I was married to Arisong, please step forward with evidence. Hmm. You go explain, 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 because no evidence. Are you serious right now? Now nah, she's she got receipts. And if there is any way we can run a DNA on all my kids, including the one I lost, I am open to it. Full chest. She said, I'm not woomy. I am not woomy. Okay. I am open to it because I fear nothing. A clear conscience fears no accusation. Like I said, you keep projecting your insecurities on me, Harrison. Is it Arison now? Arison is his name. How many times did I get to treat STDs because of you? Not the STDs. The only sexually transmitted infection I did not get to treat weekly was HIV. And hepatitis B. Wait, she has HIV and hepatitis B? What is going on? <laughs> he shot you! And? Is that what she just said? What is she talking about? She continues, You're, you're on Nedu's podcast spewing shit about me. Same Nedu you warned me about. Same Nedu you said was conning and a very bad friend where so so got you arrested there is more should i spill after having a personal podcast with me about nedu you're now having a podcast with nedu about me show me a better gossip and manipulative narcissist she says my mom is currently down and being harassed in her vicinity because of your false accusations. Please, if anything should happen to me, my mom, or any member of my family, please hold Arisong responsible. I dare you to bring out all the evidence you claim to have against me. Please, 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 because no evidence. No evidence. Go see evidence. Let me relax my face. Chinye will come and tell me I'm dramatic now. What's that? What's that? <sighs> I'm ready for it. Lastly, use this energy to revive your dead career. Maybe, just maybe, you might become relevant again. I know you too well, Harry. You can go to any length to tarnish my image. Bring it on. Rest. With her mama, we just married. She said, rest in Jesus' name. This is what she's responding to. Seventh husband. Seventh husband. A big sister's husband. And not the same guy. Where did they call me? They tell me, say, the mama said, no, they stay. He gets, the mama still gets uh, another boyfriend inside the town. That's the kind of, that the family we are married into. She come out, she say, oh, uh, she was, uh, she was uh, pregnant. The, I don't, I, 
I don't stop to sleep with her for for almost a year. You see this place right here? My wife will always tell me it's like you are stressed. You are relax it, relax. <laughs> relax it, relax it, relax it. <laughs> stress, stress. I feel stress in my my face. That's or Laura need it to Mm-hmm. Amen. What are the lessons in this? What are the lessons? There's so much lessons in this. So many, many lessons. Somebody said, go girl, you started well, but you shouldn't have mentioned your mother-in-law. I know he started first and it hurt so bad. I didn't see the mother-in-law part. I guess she's talked something about the mother-in-law. I know he started first and it hurt so bad, but face him, please. He has shot himself by saying you have children with another man. Now, all your children belong to you. Be please, if you want to win this fight, apologize to his mom and carry go all the best. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit. So I said, this girl, a shameless girl. When do they enjoy the marriage? You know, say all this stuff. Now, after a breakup, now they say, now man, no good. Mumu girls. <laughs> now, um, let me show you something. I think this is Israel's ex, the virgin. I'm not a I'm just a virgin, you know. This girl, Sheila Courage, she said, hmm, it is well. <laughs> Why do you think she's doing that? Why do you think she's doing, hmm, it is well. That girl can relate. I'm guessing. Happy Children's Day, Harry Song. Hey. You mean say your Lord they squirt? Wait, what? Squirt the P, Jesus. Hand way touch my comment won't know poverty. Get out of here. See how the just manipulate themselves with stupid prayers on social media. Someone said bedwetting was the first struggle I had as a teenager. My siblings blackmailed me with it. I attended a boarding school. My mom got me a spare mattress, sheets, and wrapper. Never went on holiday growing up. Raining season was difficult. Wait, what? <laughs> I could pee up to five times before dawn. My mom could come wake me up. Could have bed wetted already. Get to the bathroom, would still pee. Change my clothes, put some dry clothes on the way. Oh, this is so sad. One time, my grandma visited and made me lay on a mat. Jesus, I was practical about stopping. Prayed, was overly conscious. Listen. You know, more than 10 years ago and counting. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's going to tell a story. Listen, there's some people struggling with that, by the way. He actually looks like somebody that bedwets true true. Ah, <laughs> another angle. This is wrong. I'm, I'm done. I think I'm done with this story. I shouldn't be laughing at this kind of stuff. You mean Ari Song, you need on the bed? That's all everybody's getting from this. This is just wrong. I'm done. I'm done with this story. I'm done. What are the lessons we can get from this? Uh, Ari Song and his uh, ex fine beauty queen because there's no way this girl is going back to this guy it's not, it ain't gonna happen I don't think so if they go back together they will show each other shaggy okay wait there's more let me see let me see yeah I think that was that one okay oh okay this a little short something more she just said you've been exposed yeah that's more apparently she said you have been exposed now i can get back to work keep chasing clouds with your lies you're just but a content to blogs for the while agent of darkness i'm free from you for good in jesus name amen all right so same story same story all right, and uh, I think this one, she posted this. All right, I'm going to play that. She said, go back to your ex or sing. <laughs> or sing Chinese. <laughs> she is a troll. <laughs> she is a bona fide troll. I can't play that song. I can't. Hmm. <sighs> You can tell he just added salt and pepper to that one. Incest was the reference to his mom. Oh, that part, the mother-in-law. Yeah. 
that can be a struggle though i bet wait till the age of 14 not fun at all oh so sorry to hear that listen i can i, I can already think how traumatic tra- traumatic that was for many kids when kids have struggles the way we grew up in nigeria they were shamed for it they got lashes for it and they didn't get the help that they needed for it and somebody's gonna come and come and tell me I me, mean, I like the way I was trained. Are you thinking all the way through? It's okay to, 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 to admire some of the parts about how you were raised, your culture and stuff. But for you to be completely disconnected from all of it. I beg, I beg. Anyway, that's another conversation for another day. Uh, going backwards to fantasize about how we parented or how we did relationship. There's no better way to tell me. That you lack skills and it's only a matter of time it will haunt you down it will eat you up that's only if you haven't gone through that already okay but everybody will collect from it i've been through that too with a certain traditional thing you just i'm proud of this i'm like calm down if it worked it will still be working it's no longer working because it never worked because it wasn't sustainable at least okay anyway she said go back to your ex or sing chinese she chose to what? <laughs> she chose to sing Chinese. This girl, I believe that she she showed that guy Shiggy. Once she discovered that she had power. Yeah. She showed him Shiggy. Here's the lesson, okay? When you find yourself in funky relationships, you will show yourself shaggy if you don't know what you're doing you will show yourself shaggy you can call it a reaction your reactions are actions you're responsible for you can call it your ex is just an evil person clap for yourself you marry a evil person guess what you're gonna have to disengage from that idea right and learn more about yourself get to know yourself you clearly did not know yourself well enough that's okay it's time for self-discovery okay it's time to forgive yourself self-discovery self-love self-respect self so you can build a healthy self-esteem so you can start attracting the actual level of love and respect that you desire but more importantly that you deserve that's the lesson because if you don't do that, you will run out into this internet street and you will start singing in Chinese if you don't do it. Okay? I've told you, you cannot unhear, you cannot unhear this one. You will continue to hear my voice in your sleep. Like that. Okay? <laughs> in Jesus' name. Until you fix it in jesus name <laughs> she's wrong <laughs> oh more she's doing that singing let's leave that thing alone let's leave that thing alone do me a favor hit the like button share subscribe follow help me share we're doing the lord's work help me share the whole point of this is that i want you to build a healthy relationship i want you to attract a healthy relationship with your with your lovey-dovey partner with a romantic partner with your children it's not just about a romantic partner these are skill sets that you need to learn so that you can build an awesome life for yourself okay so yeah hit the like button share subscribe leave some comments let me know what your thoughts are i'll be right back <laughs>